Okay, uh, again, a uh, good thing. So for our next lesson is about comments. So very common na siya, no? So in your previous uh, C or C++, uh, comments are very much discussed naman, no? But anyway, so it's just, uh, we'll still just gonna cover this again. So again, no? so ang purpose ng atong comments is to leave descriptions or notes uh, maybe for yourself you know? just maybe I know uh, sa experience ko ubrawan ko siya subong adlaw then after next week most probably uh, though medyo nalimita ko na siya kung ano ang purpose sa kamunin na although uh, you know naman kung paano later on maybe later on uh, magbasa sa code but sometimes the purpose of that line of code is uh, hindi nyo na sometimes mabalaan or nalimitan nyo na so this is where the comments come in huh? so buktan nyo lang description or notes for yourself or maybe for your fellow developers or programmers because huh? later on uh, most probably sa inyong uh, development team di lang na ikaw ang isang nag-obra but most probably ba si duwa ka mo or more so it's very important na at least no uh, mabutan ka mo sa comments sa inyong uh, code like this for example again uh, in the previous video uh, I've added some comments just to tell what is uh, behaviors in classes so kagina no so kagina yagin butan ko dari nga ang behaviors are called methods kung ara na yan sa class. Then nato yung states are called fields in our class and so on. So we have two types of comments in Java. We have the single line. So the single line now is a double forward slash. So kung sa Visual Studio Code na you will see there kung butangan yung comments nakachange ang color sang line into a dark green. So this tells that or maybe this is the standard for the Visual Studio Code niya kung amo na color sang line, meaning it is a comment. So comments are disregarded by the compiler. So kung i-run mo siya ang imong uh, code, kung makit under the compiler ang amo na line, then basically it will just disregard that or ignore Kasi ano para pamutang nyo as long as ara sa comment then why not? And the other one is ang multi-line nga comment. So it starts with forward slash asterisk. So amo ni ang start sa ato nga multi-line. Then it should end with asterisk forward slash. So in between the opening and closing comment, so you can add a multi-line comment stuff. Maybe uh, language of uh, description or explanations on certain lines, so it's better to use the multi-line. And sometimes, no, ang, uh, ang nami pag-inis ng comment, basically uh, it's used for um, uh, let's say um, deactivating your code. So let's say now we have here my previous Kadinga version, let's say public Void a tuition, tuition fee. Then maybe you, you you thought of another solution or another version of your code. So maybe you comment ni siya. So sa ato ni Visual Studio Code, ang mag comment is, ang shortcut sa comment is Alt Shift A. Na. As long as you highlight mo lang ang line na gusto mo, then out shift a ka kung hindi mo siya gusto comment doon then press the same keys again na. so out shift a ka naman yeah, na, like this so maybe say mo dire nyo comment this is a previous version of my revision Okay. 
So, automatically nung ang nami siya. Or maybe kung may error sa certain nga line. So, you just comment that out. Then maybe uh, get back to it later kung may solution ka. So, amo again, amo na siya ang ato na comments. Very useful. No? Uh, not just for describing the code, but maybe uh, deactivating the code. Para maybe, let's say, later, ibalikan niya siya, then i-work out niya siya, maybe may error siya, and so on. So, don't get, ano nga, di ka mo mag-binaget. No? So, gamit ka mo sa comment as much as possible. It will be very useful or maybe a lifesaver later on. No? So, there, uh, there are some um, articles. I read nga naka-anagid no, naka-save it ang comments sa isa ka program. So, we don't know, no? Maybe it will uh, in your uh, in your case. Okay? So, that's it, no? I'll see you in the uh, next video.